for Africa's anti-hunger effort is called Hands Across America, and it's run into some problems. Scott Osborne reports. Across America was to have been heard at halftime during the Super Bowl broadcast to introduce the new USA for Africa domestic anti poverty project. But reclusive superstar Michael Jackson allegedly squelched the idea. Jackson favored retaining We Are the World, which he co wrote. The Los Angeles Times reported Jackson's disdain for the new song and his feeling that We Are the World was divinely inspired and should remain the official theme song of the new fundraising effort. Hands Across America organizer Ken Cragen says the new song will be unveiled closer to the May 25th fundraising effort. We Are the World will be heard in the meantime. Hands Across America hopes to raise $100 million from 6 to 10 million Americans who would join hands from New York to Los Angeles. Scott Osborne, Entertainment Tonight. Super Bowl 20 got a national rating of 48 point. You can't fight the system. You can't fight the system. The system is our state system. Well, watch the news and watch violence if you don't like sexuality. Well, if the definition of bitchy is that next year, the last new episode will air in March. The sitcom, which stars Gary Coleman, will remain on the network in reruns through the summer. Starting Monday on Entertainment Tonight, a new series that looks at women in rock and roll and how the record business uses sex to sell records. Madonna is just one of today's enormously popular female performers to make a sexual image musically profitable. A relatively new phenomenon, not only raising record sales, but some objections as well. Elvis swung his hips, but he said, I want you, I need you, I love you. It was somewhat romantic, the themes of his songs. Sheena Easton sings, come inside my sugar walls. This is what art's all about, it's being free, and if you don't like it, then turn into something else, you know, like, go watch the news and watch violence if you don't like sexuality. Had I been back in 1940 singing sex year, I probably would have been thrown in jail. <laughs> Beginning Monday on Entertainment Tonight, part one of Sex Sells, The Women of Rock.